Hi Christina, it's Tony. I'm looking at your photojournalism assignment here and looks like some pretty interesting uh, looks like some pretty interesting work here. So let's see what what is here. Okay, I love the illustration. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Um, and let's see what it says for photo details here. Okay, <clears throat> so shooting with your Canon EOS, and you got a 50 millimeter lens. Okay, good. Uh, you know, and when you're shooting inside like this too, you might want to bump your ISO up a little bit higher. ISO 250 insides. You know, you can certainly bump it up to 400, 800, that kind of stuff. Then you give yourself a little bit more depth of field if you need it. Okay, so you have the uh, inked version laid out. Um, okay, then you got the the phone. <laughs> okay, we'll go through these here. Uh, okay, so now you're doing the pencil drawing. I guess transferring the ink drawing to the pencil uh, sketch on your canvas here. A little bit more painting. Looks like a little doggy came in, came in over here and is visiting you. Oh, I see. So you added the, the phone. Okay, so you needed a shot of the phone to um, include in the um, painting here. Okay. All right. Okay, I can see over here your ISO is up at much higher. That's good. And you can see right here too that, uh, well, in this case right here where the dog, even though your ISO is at 800, uh, when the dog came in to sit in there, um, since he's black, that kind of threw the camera metering off a little bit. And uh, you can see right here your exposure is at a fourth of a second. So, um, okay, let's re let me read what you've got up here. There are other images of him helping me that didn't make this album. I really like how he just stared at it. I wish the focus was better, but he moves when I grab the camera. Um, yeah, so then, you know, in this case right here, what you need to do to be able to stop that action, it's not so much the focus, but the uh, your slow shutter speed right there. Uh, you can even bump this up. I imagine if this is a 50 millimeter lens, if it's, uh, you know, you could open this up, maybe it's a 1.8, 1.4, open it up a little bit more so you get a little bit more sh uh, faster shutter speed. And in a case like this, if you see that you shoot the picture and it's uh, even at 800, that uh, it's getting a little blurry, bump it up to 1600, 3200 um, to make sure that you're getting a nice crisp shot. Let's go to the next one here. Uh, it says, yeah, backlight on the image to make it glow. Yeah, so I can see right here, uh, you've got the ISO at 6400. And, um, you know, that's definitely what you need. You can you can see that even at, it's at a thirteenth of a second. So um, that is pretty in pretty dim light, but it really came out nice here. So uh, yeah, don't be afraid to use those, those faster ISOs. So uh, let's recap here. Okay, so in terms of telling stories, um, you know, you got the, everything in the traditional sense, but what I would like to see, I mean, I'm just offering these, you don't have to redo anything. Um, I would like to definitely like to see you putting your camera in different positions. You know, for instance, like right here, if you had the camera down really low and pointed up, this is kind of the classical kind of thing where you're looking basically right at you know the side of you painting. But if you put it down below or up above, um, 
and maybe some uh, shots of your expressions or maybe you holding a brush in your mouth or um, you know more of these kinds of detail shots that you know maybe more of the uh, paint you know in the tubes or a close-up of the brush um, getting into the paint those kinds of things um, it looks like you were working on your ISO I love the fact that you, you shot something that you had an ISO of 6400 so that's great uh, your camera can definitely get great quality stuff at uh, you know really high ISOs, so don't hesitate to um, you know to do that. But uh, I would, if I were doing this over again, and you don't, you know, I'm not asking you to, but uh, I would definitely put your camera in different places and add more detail shots. But otherwise, good job and keep up the good work.